you can see I'm holding a string phone which works pretty much like a landline phone. When you talk into one car, your voice is transmitted through the string and reaches to the other car. In fact, sounds are vibration which need a physical medium to pass on. Therefore, we call sounds are mechanical waves. And in order to understand in a better way, let's first understand the nature of the sound using a simulation and then by doing a small experiment. Here I am on FET website. Using this simulation, we can easily visualize the formation and propagation of sound wave. As you can see, when speaker vibrates, it displaces air particles forward and creates high pressure region. Since most of the particles of air have moved forward, then it creates a low pressure region as well, just behind the high pressure region. The high pressure region is usually known as compression and low pressure region is known as a rarefaction. The formation of compression followed by rarefaction will continue as long as source keep vibrating. In this simulation, we use air as a medium. However, we can apply this model to solid medium and can have similar explanation. You can also notice that vibration of particles and motion of sound are parallel, which makes sound a compressional wave. As you can see, I have set up my strength phone. The cup beside me is a source of the sound, while the cup on the other end is the receiver. I am using an online tone generator to produce a sound frequency of 440 Hz using my cell phone. At the receiver end, uh, I use another cell phone with Firefox. Firefox detects the sound pressure in decibel. By the way, a decibel is the unit commonly used for, the, for measuring the loudness and pressure of sound. I calibrated the Firefox before I turn on the sound generator on my cell phone. On the screen, you can see the Firefox reading the background noises. I first started my measurements through the air to ensure I could see the correct readings through the strings when I placed my phone in the cup. Firefox read around 6.5 decibel when I brought my phone close to the receiver. Now, when I place my phone into the cup, the Firefox start reading around 34.6 decibel, indicating that Firefox detected the sound pressure. When I print the string, I partly block the vibrations through the string. As a result, the sound pressure reduces to 23 decibel, showing damping of sound pressure. And it went back to 34 decibel again when I release the string. In addition to numerical values, Firefox also generates a sound pressure versus time graph. The graph gives us a complete look of our experiment. If we want to analyze this graph, we can easily export the data. As we can see from the graph, how sound pressure changes because of different conditions. Students often believe that strings can only produce transverse waves but this is not the case. Compressional waves such as sound can also be produced and pass through the strings. Do you think replacing this string with, with other strings made of different materials will give us different sound pressures?